Hey, hey, one, two. They called me about this thing and said, hey, you know. Hey, one, two. MTV pro wrestling thing. And I was like, man, I don't want to think about wrestling. I do big rock shows. And they said, yeah, that's, we, want, we want a big rock show. So, you know, I got a few of them. Really? Yeah. Well, Okay, hey everybody, it's uh, the Reverend. We're here with Dirk Durham, who's uh, been with Toby Keith for about a million years. And uh, he's got an XL4 out on this tour, and he does a pretty cool little thing with, uh, with his backup vocals and horns that allows him to get more out of him and spread him to the outside without it stepping on his star. So, Dirk, why don't you tell us what you're doing? All right, here's the last is what I've done and done for years is I go ahead and assign my backing vocals and horns to a VCA. And then for extra ump, I also assign them to a subgroup and strap a tube compressor or any kind of stereo compressor across the top, pan them as wide as I can get them, and all I have to do is step on them, and they go immediately to the outside wall to wall. Awesome. I do this with the horns and my backing vocals and also toms. You can do it with toms or anything that you need above the mix every time. Without it stepping on the Without center. Without it stepping on any center, getting in the way. And that's how I kind of get all my stuff out of Toby's way. Very cool. To come up the metal. Well, last and thing, it, tell us about the truck. And it really spurs me. This truck okay. has probably been in a business maybe 13, 14 years. Tommy Welch of Brooks and Dunn had it on his XL4 for hell, as long as I've known him, 10 years, 12 years. And when Brooks and Ronnie called to quit last year, Tommy went to a different console, and I kind of inherited the Hot Wheels truck on my XL <laughs> Ford. I plan on keeping it here, though. I make it move. There you go. Well, thanks very much for taking the time with us, dude. Have a great show.